Hello and welcome back to another one of our review slash unboxing videos. This is going to be for the Sealy 150mm bench mounting buffer slash polisher. It's a 370 watt motor at 230 volt. It's got two spindles. Uh, so this is just basically an unboxing. Um, right, okay. This is what you can expect to get if you buy one. Instruction booklet. Polishing wheels. Now we did look at this in the shop and for some reason the polishing wheels on it were like six inch. These are like, I think these are four. It's not a problem. Or whatever they are. That's a bit harder so you get a bit more pressure. Yeah, like softer. Just softer. Well, oh. I would say if you're going to do any polishing, just do a bit of research because there's more involved than you think. Yeah, especially and we're, with we're the novices comp at this. Compound a lot of knowledge, so. Yeah. yeah, you did. Oh God, <coughs> dusty they are. This is obviously Sealy, you can see from the box. We've got, I've bought this one. Basically, because of the name. Right. Always check the bottom of the box, because no word of a lie, I did check it once and there was 20 quid in there. So I've always checked the bottom of boxes. That was before the new £20 notes came out. I want to say there's a lot of dust in this box. So I don't know where the packing is. Yeah, I know. It just makes me, it makes me so um, got cough, asthma. cough a little bit. I'm not quite yeah. sure what's going on with this. It's a bit irritating, whatever it's in so it. the old Russians ain't in here yet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. right, so here we, here we are. Here's the bit of kit. So you've got a spindle each side where it mounts. Um, on and off here. It's like a waterproof housing. That's quite good. Everything looks well quite protected. A burn switch. Uh, uh, a bit of a defect. Nice, there, nice, nice red paint job. Flexy thing on the cable at the back. Uh, strain relief on the cable. Is that what it's called? Uh, decent plug. You always um, about plugs. This is interesting, actually. So, so this is this is interesting. So, this is a Sealy buffer polisher. And it's got that on it. Strain relief. And then we'll look at. A, then we look at a record power scroll scroll saw, exactly the same thing. Yeah, it is the same. So obviously they're probably same sort of company producing multiple products. Um, Clark Metalwork, no strain release. That's always a good sign when things are protected and wrapped. Yeah. Um, Hopefully we're not going to have to do anything. Oh no, so these are all the bits that hold the spiral buffing um, wheels and things in place. Obviously we're going to need a... Now the threads on this are a left hand thread. So as you see, I'm turning it anti-clockwise, it's tightening it up. So I always went to speak to grandchildren, to the floor doing up, down, does it up, to the ceiling, undoes it, or to the sky. Yeah, yeah if it's a left hand thread, you'll see yeah. with that one it's... So just don't, when you, if you take this off, don't thread it the wrong way. Now. Excellent. Well, that was a stroke of luck. So that right, 19mm. 19mm socket or spanner, depending on what sort of tools you have. Does it look like it's got vents on the bottom of it? Because this is raised, this is like a cast that's yeah, raised. Yeah, it does, yeah. So, yeah. It's got like, obviously, to keep the motor cool. Or... There's sort of oil on it all. Yeah, it's a funny, funny thing. Right, I've never. We've well, we've never had, had one. We've never had one of these before. Or we've never had a scroll saw before, which is for a hobby. So, yeah. All right, I thought that was enough. Right, okay. I'm sure it's self-explanatory. So, right. So what we've got is take that off. Right, so to the floor to undo. You can actually see the thread is a funny different one. So well, if you look here, it's got this one of these going on. Feels good quality. I mean, it, feel, it does feel substantial. Right, so I've put them on. Um, and then we've got four of these. Right, so it's got the in a bit there. That's that stops that. That's quite raised there. One goes on there. 
These clamp together basically. Uh, is that right on the right way that one? Yeah. And then you stick your buffing wheels on. They just go on. Simple. Straight on. Right, and then you put it's got a bit of a funny smell all this. So to the floor to do up. I'm sure you don't need an awful lot of tightening. To can be you honest. hold? No, you probably don't. You probably just can hand. I would, I would just hand tight that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So because you can't hold it here with a spanner, then right. tighten it here. Push, just push it on. Yeah. So that goes like that. The sort of prominent end, the bit that's sticking up from it goes on the outside. Doing that hand tight, holding it. I guess after you've done it a couple of times. Oh, it's got a nice moulded plug on it, so if you drop it, it won't crack. It's plastic. That's quite nice. Uh, this one's a little bit tighter to get on. It might just be useful not to tighten it hard. Just something just to. Yeah, you can't really tighten it like that. No, no just hold, hold the spindle like I'm doing there with a rag or something, something that's not going to slip. And just tighten it up, and then it's. At least it's not going to come flying off. That's what we're trying to say. If you don't tighten it up, I think you're going to get rattling. That's all. You're going to need a deep socket for this as well. What I mean by a deep socket is that's not long enough. Really, but just, just get a span spanner. Just get a span on it. Right, so so there we are. So it's set up at the moment. So that was fairly quick. Right. Well, it's I'm got a serial do... number on here. It says zero zero thirty two. So is that... So yeah. in. So they don't produce. Well, this is so... like one of the first batches or something like that. thing I do know, this is important, whatever you're using to polish your heat item with, whatever it is, whatever colour it is or polishing compound, use one wheel for each colour. That's it. And what I mean by that is, don't put like a triply brown wax or whatever compound and then don't use like a so we've got a spare gloss. wheel. Bar on it, so I'm saying. This, um, it's a different wheel. Yeah, it's for different. This is like for different, and this one is sewn in the middle. That's this thinner. one, isn't it? That looks a better yeah. wheel, to be honest. Um, this is high mirror finish. Yeah, loose fold. So you get things like this. This is blue for a mirror finish. Brown called Tripoli. You reduce, and we were advised. Oh, yeah, don't, don't don't put don't don't mix them. Obviously, don't mix them. And I will say, if you want some excellent customer service, right? And we do go and use them. Yeah, especially on the Sunday. McKay's of Cambridge. Yeah, you can get all this. I get loads in Cambridge. Dremel parts, you name it. They're quite special shop. Got loads. It's your old school shop. You've got the old school hardware shop. Right, I'm just going to turn this on now. Hopefully. Hopefully it doesn't fly off everywhere. I'll tell you what, if it's no good as a polisher, it's a perfect fan. It's got a lot of, it's quite a bit of air coming off of it. Now, I can just see there it moving, so it's yeah. tightening up. Yeah. Take ages to stop though, won't it? Yeah. So if you just want to get rid of that, see that noise. Yeah, because obviously it's this little, not like, vibrating. You've been able to tighten that up quite a yeah. bit, then, haven't you? That's better. That isn't sounds it? better. Yeah. That's so what if it you get, sound. You get that rumble. Yeah. Rumble in the jungle, as they used to say. That is out loose. So by the looks of it, it looks like you can fit all, type, all types of this sort of thing on it. All types of polishing yeah. wheels. 
obviously it's got a certain hole diameter for but it looks like it can be quite thick and quite thin and can be different sizes you want so there we go so we were told so we'll, we'll try this in situ now right so i've got something called brown triple and there's there's uh, black emery and brown triple now, this is black emery is a bit more all you do um, is this yeah, feed it into a bit more so that's on there at the moment that i wouldn't pay any more than that on there right now i've made this and you can see the scratches on it we've polished it up a little bit but we want to polish it up a bit more we would not we are going to be holding this with something normally not just going to be doing it by hand like that but i'm curious you can see that changing color going black you can see the difference between there is a difference on it. Yeah, there's a remarkable difference. I think you've got to put a fair bit of pressure on it though. See the difference between that and that? Let's try and call that stuff here. Yeah, let's try and do half of it. And by the way, we're not polishing experts, so if we're right, doing something is, wrong. Um, see, let me get that in the light. We're not experts at it, so you can, can see the difference between that and that. I mean, that is. So it, this this does work, but you don't need a lot of that stuff so, on it. Yeah. Pretty yeah. pretty good. Do you think we should put triply on that? A bit harder. Yeah. Right, so we've got this soft wheel, and you can't mix these wheels up, but you can see the difference already. So I'm going to stick some of this on here. You can tell that's a that cool comes off really quick. Right. Is there enough of it on there? Yeah, I think there is, otherwise it just comes off. So. Let's see what this That's goes did that. We do the other side now. Yeah. Well, that's working like twice as much. Does it come off that flat mark? Yeah. You have to clean it off with some stuff like right? See the difference on huh? Which one's better? Which, which wheel is the better one? Oh, this is that one. You get like little pieces fly off every now and then. This is why yeah. obviously they, they sell a lot of wheels. Bloody hell. Between that um, and that. Do you know what? I'd, I'd say this wheel is the better one. Yeah. Um, let's just give that a, give it a fair test. That tends to take more marks out. So I think what you do, you use that for a bit. So let's buff, this is the one that's been, been done on there a couple of times. Which is that. Which is quite nice. That is really nice. And that's the one done on that harder wheel, the yellow one. And now the back of it has been done on this. Yeah, it's not as it's better. It's better on this one. That one's I think is more of a coarser. Yeah, I'd go with. Uh, yeah, I'd definitely go with this one.
Okay, so you can quite clearly see the difference. I mean, that's remarkable between that shot between that and that. Yeah, it is. That's just about edges. Yeah, that's, that's what the edge looks like at the moment. It's quite, the edge that hasn't been. It's quite, it's quite dull. You can see that straight away. Yeah. So, what would you rate, rate it then? Out of 10? Assembly out of 10, uh, 10 out of Well, you've got to give it, let's put some more of this stuff on it. Triple it, got to So. I don't know how many of these wheels you go through. They're about 20 quid each. No, no, these, these, these aren't 20 pounds. The real big ones are 20 quid where we get, where we, where you, we buy stuff from, but obviously, you know, prices vary, it's up to you where you buy your stuff from, but if you're selling, if you're making selling products for this, or if you're and using it as not, a hobby. That's not the end finish yet. No, there's another, there's this wheel with the, with the gloss stick to put on it. This is our first time using this machine. With a, so the best way to do this is like that. And if you are watching this and you do use this stuff and you do have a suggestion, please let us know. Yeah. Because obviously everything that helps. You know, we're new at this. We're First time we've ever used one of these. Yeah. yeah so that's me just run it across. Which is if you're thinking about buying something like this in, in two minds with the cost and things. And there is it some, just helps to sometimes see other some, people using uh, it. There is some black stuff you can get as well. Uh, yeah, it's with uh, black emery. And uh, it takes more scratches out. It's, it's a coarser so, version than the black, uh, brown triple which is um, down there. What I'm trying to do is just, because there are some scratches on this, which is aluminium. It does take them out. I think every so often you've just got to put a bit of this on, depending how, like I say, look, first time you use it, but instantly looking at it. I mean, we're probably using a bit more of that stuff than it should And I think it depends if you're, you know, we have sanded all this down. Um, but I think you've just got to spend a bit of time on it. This is obviously, um, so I can see now doing that on there, it's made a substantial difference. So you probably use this firmer one first. Oh, it's not that loud, is it, this machine? At all, really. Uh, that, that, now, I, I, I know that had little scratches on it. Not in there, but scratches down the bottom. Yeah, yeah. we're not going to get this perfect, we know that. Um, no way we're going to get this absolutely flawless because of what it is. It's aluminium and soft metal. But that be happy with that. So if I now put that on, it's me who's messing it up with dirty fingers, but... But you can hold this with something and then just yeah, slide. Can. Obviously it's normally you've you just got to get something that's not going to damage it to hold it. So you end up with all black fingers like that. <laughs> Which isn't really any good. Have we got a cloth somewhere?
So I, I would say that, but it's not had the high gloss finish on it yet. The blue, the blue stuff on it yet, which you'll have to put on with that, obviously. So right. So that has basically come from that to that. And that. I, I think to that for the sake of, but, and it does need it does need a bit of alcohol um, to clean it because our hands are dirty and things. People watching this it might be beneficial just to swap these. Now over. this one here, I'm not sure if we can use this one. Why is that? Because it's got a small little thing in it, so that'd be a problem. So a little bit annoying as well. Yeah, so if you're buying so if you're buying these you need to uh check out the bore. And we were given that one off the shelf. Yeah. That ain't gonna go in there, is it? No, it's not. Anyway, so this, is, so this is the review for the Sealy Buffer Polisher. As you can see we've tried it. Um these come with it. And um, yeah, I hope that helps you if you're deciding to buy one. If you've got any comments or anything like that, let us know. I guess you get a spindle that reduces for this. Yeah, but that won't fit on there unless you real, really stuff it on. Unless it fret or fret into it. Yeah. Uh, that's a little frustrating. Yeah. You want to get on today? Right. Never mind.